Hello and welcome to another session of Java. In this session, we are going to learn about Java package. Java has Java API built-in packages. We can define user-defined custom packages also. A Java package is a group of similar type of objects, interfaces, and sub packages. A package is used to categorize the classes, easy distribution, and provide access protection. Java has built-in packages such as Java, Lang, System, AWT, JavaX, Swing, Net, IO, Util, SQL, etc. User-defined packages or custom packages are created specific to a project to contain all its classes and interfaces. Packages are part of class name and they are used to group distinguished named entities from other ones. Another purpose of packages code access together with access modifiers. For example, java.io.inputStream class name for the class input stream which is located in the package java.io. A package is declared at the start of the file with the package declaration package, my package, and then class. Then content of the class is coded to utilize the package, classes, interfaces, etc. Classes with the public access modifier must be placed in the files with the same name and Java extension. And put in nested folders corresponding to the package name. The above class my package dot my class will have the following path. My package forward slash my class dot Java or my class dot class java built-in packages packages provide great reusability we can import required class from an existing package and use it in our program a package acts as a container for a group of related classes and can be considered as means to achieve data encapsulation java has built-in packages which are part of java api such as lang io applet util etc to serve standard functionalities. These packages consist of large number of related classes. We are familiar with java.io package which contain classes to support input and output operations in Java. Examples of built-in packages are java.io. This contains the classes to support input output operations. java.applet. This contains the classes for creating applets. Java.net. This contains the classes for supporting network operations. Accessing packages is by using import keyword. Import java.lang.object. This imports the object class from the lang package. Import.java.util.star. This imports all of the classes from the util package. A type import declaration allows a named type to be referred to by a simple name rather than the full name that includes the package. Import declaration can be single type import declarations or import on demand declarations. Import declarations must be placed at the top of the code file after the package declaration. Import on demand declarations are mentioned in the code. A type import imports all of the package. A static import imports the members of the package. Import.java.util.star. This form of importing classes makes all the classes in the package java.util.package available by name. Import java.star. This statement is something tricky, it's legal, but it does nothing. There are no classes directly in the package Java. All of them are packages within the package Java. This doesn't import any classes. We can create our own packages to categorize all project files. These are used to define for a specific project, purpose, functionality. We can import entire package or specific classes as per requirement. These packages can be distributed as required. Let us take a demo on package. Let us create a package. 
To create a package, first create a folder directory by the same name as that of the package and save all the related files in it. Compile the source files and the class files are ready to be imported. So package, my package, that's on the top of the code and then the class, details will go. Using a different name for the folder and the class file will not give the compilation error. Calling classes cannot be compiled and throws error. It can say that it cannot access the class. Let us compile this. Before that, we need to create a folder by the same name as that of the package. So my package, let us create it. Right, we have this. We have to save this file inside this folder. Let us save this. Okay, let's compile this. Yeah, it's compiled and uh, let us check the folder. Yes, we have the class file here. Okay. Now the package is created and we have the class files inside the package. Package demo. Importing the package just now we have created. Here we are importing the package import my package dot star we can even import the classes we are interested in this is package demo by default input to the main method is string array the input arguments are passed as an integer and integer x integer y and we are creating an instance of max class which is inside the package my package and we are calling the method find max and sending this variables x and y we are printing the maximum value of the numbers we have inputted to this application let us take a demo of this see the code is here let us save this as package demo and we are importing the package import my package dot star and we can import a specific class we are interested in okay let us compile this It's compiled and let us run this. Yeah, this is throwing a array index out of bounds exception. So we, the program is expecting input parameters which were not passed down. So let us let us send a string. Let us see what it says. This throws an exception, number format exception. Our application is taking the input and parsing into an integer. So the string input doesn't work here. So let us pass the numeric, let us say four and five. Maximum value is five. Let us say 455 and 999. So it found out uh, the maximum value, let us say So 800 and 200, it's giving the output which is maximum value. We have already discussed that this package name and the folder name must be same. If it is different, it will not give any compilation error but the package will not work. 
adding a class to an existing package. We can add a class to an existing package by adding the package name at the top of the Java source. Save under the package directory, compile the Java file and we can use it like any other classes of the package by importing it. Interfaces can also be defined as part of the package and import implement them like classes. We can use the hyphen D switch to compile and target the destination folder for the generated class file. Like minus D directory specify where to place the generated class files. This will create class file in the destination folder. Sub package. A package created inside another package is sub package. An importing package will not import the sub packages by default. Sub packages have to be imported explicitly. For example, java.net.star. Net is a sub package created inside a Java package and need to be called as above to get the network operations classes. Thanks for watching.